Hey, today we're doing a case study on an 09 Toyota Highlander, and we're gonna do tests before you touch to figure out which sensor is bad. Next. This video is sponsored by Bartech USA, TPMS professionals. Visit bartechusa.com for more information. For today's case study, we've got a 2009 Toyota Highlander with the TPMS light on. Customer reported that they had the light on in the morning and they reset the tire pressures and the light continued to stay on. So what next? Well, we're gonna perform a test before you touch method on this vehicle. First of all, we're gonna look at that TPMS light and what it's doing. When we turned on the ignition, it performed the initial self check and the light stayed on. According to Toyota service information, this indicates that there's a problem with the registration or identification of the sensors. Next, we moved on to the sensors. With our TPMS tool, we checked them at the wheels by activating them. It revealed that all the sensors are transmitting. Next, we connected to the OBD2 port, and this gave us our fault. When connecting to the vehicle, we noticed that the left rear sensor was not being picked up by the TPMS module. Even though the sensor was picked up at the wheel, it's probably not transmitting enough of a signal to reach the antenna. And this is the source of our code as revealed by our TPMS tool. Just out of curiosity, I went in there and tried to do a relearn. That sensor would not take to that module. That's a sign that that sensor is bad and it should be replaced. This vehicle has 129,000 miles on it. So the recommendation for this vehicle, replace all four, because chances are the customer will have a bad sensor on another wheel within two to three months. So test before you touch, and this will reveal the source of a TPMS error. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.